to craft the sleeves, we also want to finish those with the French seam. So you're going to fold those in half with the wrong sides facing and then using a narrow seam allowance, close up that side seam. And then trim that up and turn it inside out, press it flat at the seam, and then stitch with a larger seam allowance to encase that raw edge. And when you turn that right side out, that seam is finished beautifully. So the next thing we need to do is add some of the gathering stitches along this bell or curved portion of the sleeve. So just bump that up to the longest stitch length and then pull on the long tail there working from both ends and gather that material just at the top of the sleeve. And I prefer these gathers to end up all along the top there. I just like that look, that little pop on the tunic. So I'm gonna leave mine there with the sleeve right side out and the tunic wrong side out. You're going to fit that sleeve inside of the armhole and the first thing you want to do is align the side seam and press those seams or fold them over so that they're both headed in the right direction and your darts should line up if you have the proper sleeve with the proper armhole, you'll have the wider dart on one side and the narrow dart or single dart on the other side. If not, switch armholes and that will fit properly for you. And then if you need to, you can let some gathers in or out to make sure that the sleeve fits nice in the armhole. When you're happy with how that fabric is laying in there, go ahead and stitch all the way around with the 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. And then for the sleeves, I finish mine with pinking shears. If you wanted, you could do an overlock stitch as well or a zigzag stitch to finish. If you have a serger, you could use that. If you are super talented, you could also do the French seam, but that would require you to reverse the order here. And then once you're confident that the sleeve has been securely attached, you can go ahead and pink those interior edges or use the overlock stitch, whatever you're most comfortable with. Just be careful not to cut any fabric that you do not intend to cut. And then once you've finished those seams, then you're just going to hem the sleeve, which will be folding this over twice and pressing and then stitching all the way around that edge right at the top of that fold to finish. And here is an example of that. Then you're going to hem the base of the tunic all the way around in the same fashion. Just work nice and slow, fold it over, press, fold it over again, press, and then stitch along that top edge.
Love it. I really do. I'm going to have a hard time choosing which one to wear, right? Ultimately, I want to have like seven of these and I'll just be wearing my own style every single day of my life. How great would that be? So I hope you found this series to be inspirational and then also to to show you how you can take these kind of commercial instructions like this and adapt them for the visual learner, all right? So if you didn't get a chance yet, please give the video a thumbs up and by all means, subscribe to the channel. I will be back very, very soon with another video to inspire you. Until then, please know, as always, the creative genius in me will be celebrating the creative genius in you. I hope you all have a beautiful day.